Hello YouTube, Jack is back. <laughs> um, as you know, I'll be creating a line of over the next um, 15 to 17 weeks of uh, animal care guides um, every Sunday, you know. Uh, I have done quite a bit of research. I have the next one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight weeks set. So next eight weeks, every Sunday, make sure to catch my channel. Um, I don't have a specific time, so just tune in, try to find the end time of the day. Um, here's just a look of what it will look like. Um, I've written down all my things on a notepad. I have a whole bunch of information from a research site that I've looked up. But I've got planned chinchillas, hamsters, rats, mice, bunnies, goldfish, ferrets, sugar gliders. I was going to do small birds, but I said not to. Turtles, teacup pig, snake. A lizard, hermit crab, gerbil, hedgehog, and frog. I've got chinchillas, hamsters, rats, mice, bunny goldfish, ferrets, and sugar gliders done. And I'm now just starting on turtles. So, whenever I happen to get that done, um, well, I mean, you know, I'll get it done. So, I'll be starting off with chinchillas, but if you want me to do it in any other order, such as putting one animal before the other, that'd be fine with me. Just leave it in the comment section below. Um, that's pretty much so it. Just wanted to tell you that. Um, see you on Sunday. I know I've been making a lot of videos lately. Oh, and I know the first video I made, the guinea pig video, that was really bad. Because my sister's really shaky, but I've gotten somebody else to <clears throat> be my camera person. And, um, yep. Oh, and I op uploaded, I think yesterday, a video to YouTube. <clears throat> Got the cuffs. Of uh, me in the morning, I walked around with Buster. Make sure to watch the whole thing because you end up seeing a snake. I find a snake in a bush, so watch the whole thing, and you'll get to see a snake. Um, let's take a look at Buster and Tubby. I just cleaned out Tubby's cage, so we'll look at him too. Buster, Buster, Buster. Okay, let's go take a look at Tubby, and then we'll be done. I just pretty much don't want to tell you that because, um, well, I've only been on YouTube for a couple of days now making the videos, so I actually haven't gotten any questions, but I just wanted to let people that are going to watch them know. So if you're just a first time owner of some of the animals that are going to be on the list, make sure to watch them. They aren't in any particular order, so you can watch them if you want. I would recommend watching them. They're very informational, and I did get my information off of a trusted off of a trusted website. Um, I will probably at the end of my last video tell you the site, but you know, I probably won't need to go to the site because it has a lot of unneeded information that just adds on. I kind of just paraphrased it into simple things like feeding, lifespan, size, stuff like that. <clears throat> and it'll only, it'll only take probably around, uh, <clears throat> geez, 5 to 15 minutes for each of them, sometime around that, um, so it won't take very long at all, but yeah, make sure to watch them if you want to get a new animal, I've got, um, quite a few common pets, I have, um, hamsters on there. I know a lot of people have that. I've already done a guinea pig video, so if you're looking for guinea pigs, I've already made one. That's why I didn't put it on the list. Or else I totally would have. Because... Tubby! What the... Move! Move, 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 move. Move, move, move. What the heck was that? Yeesh. Scaredy pig. Um, because, uh, I already made one, or else I totally would have because I have my own guinea pig. <laughs> so I would have had plenty of reasons to do that. But my camera woman was crazy, so I might just have to do another one to replace the other one because um, it was so incredibly shaky and you could barely hear me, I think. I've already watched the video a couple of times. Um, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah. Tubby, what are you doing? I want me to move this cage out or that bowl out. Oh gosh, I gotta put his water back in. <laughs> I just cleaned his cage out. You can see that. 
because it was pretty dirty. Make sure it wasn't getting any worse. Hold on, sorry. See, I'm not wearing, using an actual camera, so it's kind of hard to do this. I'm using my phone. And it works surprisingly well. I'm just going to pop that up right there. Sorry. Um, sorry for that. Just had to... Minor interruption. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No! It went on the floor. It went on the floor. Oh no! I apologize for that. Tubby, you gonna eat your cauliflower? I just gave that to you like an hour ago. Why aren't you eating it? He's so cute. See if I can get a close-up shot of him. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. Bless you. He just sneezed. Oh, come here. Wanna sniff it? Mmm. Aw, oh, Tubby. You're such a sweet pig. He's so cute. Oh, I just want to tell you that I don't say anything scripted. As in, I don't make my lines up before I say them. I just kind of think of them as I go. Um, I've also been thinking, also along with my animal care videos, making some comedy videos. Possibly featuring my guinea pig and dog. My parents have asked me not to put them on the film, so I won't be doing that. And my sister, I try not to put on there too. Well, never mind, I try to always put my sister on there. But I also try not to put myself in there way too much. That's why I'm not going to do it, put myself in there at all this video. Oh, wait. Never mind. I already have. But for the rest of the video, I'm not going to. So that's pretty much so why. I just don't want to be in the video too much. Because it's all about the animals, and I'll try to make it. If I do end up doing the comedy show thing, um, it'll probably be sometime during the week. It's likely on a Friday or maybe a Thursday. Won't be during the weekend, I bet. But depending on if my camera person can do it, I'm not going to reveal their name or gender or who they are. Um, if they can do it, then depending on if they can or not during the week, I might have to do it on Saturday or maybe I'll just do it on the same day as the care videos. Oh, by the way, the first video, no matter what anybody says in the comments, will be a chinchilla. The next ones will be decided entirely by you. I've shared the list, so if you want to listen to that again, you can and tell me which ones you want me to do. But if I don't get any comments on which ones to do, I'll just do them in the order that I had them when I showed you them. Oh, and by the way, when I the next video I plan to do after the chinchillas is hamsters, and I do feature all the different types and sizes and um, tubby and lifespans. What's he doing? Do you sniff it, tub? Oh, and by the way, just to tell you, if you have a guinea pig that looks like Tubby, that has all the calyx everywhere and the curly Q whiskers, that means it's an Abyssian, I think it's called, guinea pig. Um, yeah, I learned that on um, a different channel called Piggy Pig Pigs. Remember to go watch them, they have pretty cool cages. And she just got a rat. Which I'll also be doing rats. Aw, Tubby, you want to be with Jack? He was just trying to climb out of the cage. Um, so that's pretty much so it. Um, I'll make sure to see you on Sunday. I know I said I would do something for holidays on an earlier video, but I was going to put on a spectacular fireworks show for the 4th of July. But I've learned that it is illegal because of the drought that's been going on here in Leo. So I can't do that. But I'm sure if it... Oh my gosh, it looks like Tubby has no toes from this point of view. Oh, hidden under the bedding. Yeah. I just want to tell you, cedar and pine wood shavings, they, those are not good for your, any animals. Never get those. Um, aspen shavings, those are good. But I don't even use wood shavings at all. I use um, bedding. Like bedding, bedding. Real soft stuff. Uh oh, something just popped up. Um, yeah, that's the kind I use, so use that kind. 
Just grab some new water. Uh, I've been thinking about, I think I'm going to get him some wood chews, little wood blocks from to chew on. He's wiggling his nose. Aww, isn't that cute? I know you can't see it in here, but it looks kind of weird. He's just like, like his little nose, like the nostrils, like were jiggling. It looked kind of weird. I know you couldn't see it from there, but. Ta -ta. You want to eat some cauliflower? I guess not. I just gave him some hay and I actually mixed it in with his pellets, but that's okay. You know, I was gonna, I forgot to tell you guys something. If you are going, on the guinea pig video I mean, if you are going to introduce one guinea pig to another that you've already had, that's already claimed, is that it's cage or you know, wherever you put it, um, you should make them meet in neutral territory such as a hall. And a good idea would be to bathe them before you do that, so they don't have any odors on them. So it's nobody's land and they'll figure out who's the dominant pig then. Oh, he's such a cute pig. Um, so that's just a good way of introducing guinea pigs to find out if they're compatible or not. Not talking about making them breed. Talking about, like, same gender couples. Tubby! I don't know if you call that rumble strutting or teeth chattering. I think it's teeth chattering. Are you angry? 